Uh, so in this video we're going to be sketching linear equations. Uh, we're going to be using something called the intercept method. There's actually two methods for sketching linear equations. This is going to be the first one here, the intercept method. Now first of all I need you to understand what it, I mean by the word sketching. Okay, when we sketch a linear equation, it's a very, very basic drawing. Uh, now, the way to do it, or the basic idea behind it, is if this is your Cartesian plane, and you want to sketch a linear equation, remember a linear equation is a straight line, you only really need two points. As long as you have two points, you can draw a straight line through those points. And there's our basic linear equation. So we only need two points on our line, that's important to understand. Now when we use the intercept method, those two points are going to be the intercepts, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Uh, so there's our basic idea. Uh, let's give one a try so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, now here's our equation, y equals 2x plus 3. And we're going to sketch that onto this Cartesian plane. Now, first of all, oh, sorry, to sketch something, we're going to need two, two points. First step is to find the y-intercept. Now, you guys can see, or hopefully you can see, that this is written in the form y equals mx plus c. And you should also remember that the plus C is the y-intercept. So finding the y-intercept is really, really simple in this question. You just need to look here, and this is our y-intercept. So the y-intercept is positive 3. And on our Cartesian plane, 1, 2, 3... There it is. And that's going to be our first point here at 3. Now the second step is slightly more difficult. So that was step 1. Step 1. Step 2 when it comes to the intercept method is a little more complicated. It's finding the x-intercept. Can't spell. Finding the x-intercept. Now let's think a little bit about what the x-intercept actually is while we're doing this. The x-intercept is where the line passes through the x-axis. So somewhere along here the line is going to pass through the x-axis. And if you stop and think about what the x-intercept really is, what we're saying is when y is equal to 0, what is x equal to? Because if the line, let's say the line passes through here, we don't know what the x value is, but we know that the y value is definitely 0. And if it passed through here, again, we wouldn't know what the x-axis is, but we, sorry, the x value is, but we definitely know that the y value is 0. So, to find the x-intercept, and you're going to write this over and over and over again, so get used to it. To find the x-intercept, let y equal 0. Okay, so let's try that out. So our original function was y equals 2x plus 3. So I'm going to substitute 0 for y. So it's now going to look like 0 equals 2x plus 3. And this is where this uh, solving linear equation stuff from term 2 comes in really handy. If 0 equals 2x plus 3, we can move that positive 3 over to this side and it becomes negative 3. So we have negative 3 equals 2x. And then to get rid of this 2, we need to divide both sides by 2. Negative 3 over 2, x. Now, uh, you could leave it like that, but I'm going to do it as a decimal, just to make my life a little bit simpler. Negative 3 over 2 is negative 1.5. Now, don't be scared, you can do all of this on your calculator. This little nugget is the thing that we were looking for. This is the y-intercept. So, at the x-axis, the line passes through at x equals negative 1.5. So, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5. 
So that's negative 1.5. Okay, this is pretty much finished now. We've got a line that passes through the y-axis at 3 and the x-axis at negative 1.5. Now you don't have these marks, you can see each one of these marks is a 1, 1, 2, 3. Each one of these marks is, is 0.5, negative 0.5, negative 1, negative 1.5. So the scale on your x-axis and your y-axis doesn't need to be the same. Finally, join those two lines with a straight line. Pretty straight. Make sure that it's clear that it passes through 3 and negative 1.5 and we've sketched our linear equation. So recapping, sketching linear equations using the intercept method, we need to find the two intercepts. If it's written in this form, y equals mx plus c, the plus c will be the y-intercept, and that can go there. To find the x-intercept, you need to let y equal 0, put 0 in where the y was, solve all of that, and we have an answer, negative 1.5 equals x. Okay, good luck.